Let's solve the advent of code 2021 day 13 puzzle using IV. In this puzzle, we have a transparent piece of paper with a bunch of marked squares and some instructions about folding the paper to make the squares pile up into a picture. And once again, we'll use awk to reformat the data for IV. So we'll write data.iv, processing sample and input, reading the text file. We have awk with a field separator of equals to help with the foldable long lines. And we're going to pass the file name in because we need it. And then on the lines that have a comma, we'll just save those up as one big string. Otherwise, if it says fold along x, then we'll save those up. And we'll put a zero at the end there. So that'll be the y coordinate for that line. For fold along y, we'll do the same thing. We'll use a zero x coordinate. So now we have pairs for folds. And then at the end, we'll just print it all out. We'll say sample equals pairs of the data and otherwise sample folds equals pairs of the folds and we need the name the data the name and the folds and that looks like it all right let's see how that did that's good that's what we want so now we can run ivy and do the rest we'll declare a pairs operator and then we'll read the data and now the sample is there that looks right Sample folds, that looks right. A fold along y for seven and a fold along x for five. Now we actually need to write the code. So uh, let's start with folding a single number. We'll say p folded over at f is gonna be, if f is zero, that's the non-fold, we'll just leave it alone. And otherwise it's f minus the absolute value of p minus f. So the distance you were before, move back down. All right, so if we do five fold three, that's one because five is two above three and it folds to two below three. And that's great, except that it doesn't really work on pairs. So if we do this, fold zero three, that doesn't work. So we really like something that does work. So let's rewrite this to use uh, the fact that Booleans are numbers. Say f of zero, then we get p, otherwise f, um, not equals zero times f minus abs, f minus p. Just need another one there, I think. Let's try that. Five fold three is good. Aha, and now these pairs are folding perfectly. Great. All right, so now the puzzle asks us to apply the first fold to the sample. So if we do sample fold, sample folds of one, that's the folded list. And then we're supposed to count the number of unique points to do that, we can use the binary iota operator to find the index of the earliest mention of each point. Many of them are their own earliest mention, but some of them are not. So let's check the ones that are not. Um, the last, next to last one is not, but the others all are. So we'll add those up, that's 17. 17 unique points, that's right. Um, all right, so it says, how many dots are visible after completing just the first fold? Let's save that up. We'll say count of x is the sum of x iota x equals iota rho x of one. And we'll say count sample folds, sample folds of one. Good, so now let's do the input. 720. That's right, all right, on to part two. It says to finish folding everything and then look at the grid. Okay, we can do that. So let's see. Um, we need to make a new operator, folds, plural. That's going to be all of the folds. And we'll say if there's nothing left, then we just use the original list that we got. And otherwise, we do the first fold, and then we apply the remaining folds. That should be okay. So we input folds, input folds. Good. So now we're supposed to make... It's a lot of points. We're supposed to make a picture out of this. So let's see, it's a 38 by five picture. So let's turn these into um, coordinate indexes. We'll say that a coordinate index is just R times a thousand plus C, just so that we can um, have single numbers. And so then we can, uh, let's see, transpose X, take two, whoops. There's the P, missing, is two. Transpose x of one. That gives us a whole bunch of points. The last one before was 36 and three, and there we have 36 and three, so that's good. 
And so let's save that. Or let's just, uh, yeah, let's save that. And now we need to figure out which one of those match the, all the possible grid points. So all the possible grid points are 0 to 5, pointed with 0 to 38, 39, 0 to 38, count to 39. And then we want to do in x. Well, that didn't work, right? I wonder what we did wrong. Hmm, what is x? x is that big thing. What's this? Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah, I forgot the pluses. That's going to work better in x. Well, it's going to work better if it's parenthesized. There we go. So now we have our picture. A little hard to read. So let's use index a string with it. There we go. What is that? A H P R P A U Z. There we go. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.